Hey Virgos, and welcome to your June 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And um, this month is really incredible for Virgos. I feel that you all are functioning at a higher vibration than most of the other zodiac signs right now. Um, this really feels like your time and it feels like you are blessed and having a lot of optimistic, wonderful luck come in. And it feels like a long time coming for sure, especially after some of the more heavy energies you are facing back in March and April. Um, you guys have a lot to face this month at the same time. Um, you're walking away from something quite strong. I sense that a lot of you are moving. A lot of you are um, shifting and transitioning into a new way of being. And it's been hard for you to come this far, but at the same time, you have to be able to um, embrace luck in a new way as you sort of walk away very lightly from situations of the past. So. Basically, I feel that Virgo in June can um, walk away from situations with that Eight of Cups energy um, without making it a big dramatic issue or without needing to um, have this really difficult coping process after you leave a circumstance behind. I sense that your transitions are smooth and blessed this month, so any type of long-term need that you've had to change situations, to change circumstances, becomes very um, smooth and easier than it has been in the past for you this month in June. You all have three major arcanas coming forward this month. You have Judgment, The Magician Reversed, and The Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to have extra good luck relating to transformations. Um, and there's definitely a message with The Magician Reversed saying you don't have to try that hard. So when you're looking to change things about your life or you're looking to um, make headway with uh, things of the past. It's not something that you really have to overanalyze, overstructure, and kind of go OCD with in that like mercurial Virgo way. Um, you can really kind of just turn and walk or easily go through the motions without overcompensating or overplanning uh, these issues which have been prevalent for a long time. Uh, you are tuning into your intuition more this month. You have Queen and King of Cups. Um, as well as King of Swords. So perhaps surrounding yourself with water and air signs is very nice this month. Um, it's important to not hold yourself overly accountable um, from that like air point of view. So from that very structured, formulaic, logical perspective, watch out for being too accountable for yourself there. Rather, do take into account your emotional availability, your intuition, your... Um, gut feeling about something before it moves very far because it feels like that may have been what caused this issue that you have to walk away from now to be so um, clinging, like holding your energy for so long. It's like you said, okay, this situation makes sense. This situation is uh, a good sort of formula for me to follow. But even back then, like your gut knew that it wasn't right. And you have like a really clear view into that perspective now and seeing like all the decisions that you made in the more recent past and how it was like a good decision on paper, but it didn't really uh, give you much because it there wasn't that emotional connection that you've needed for such a long time. I do sense for those of you that are single, you do emotionally connect with people this month. So that can be platonic or a romantic. I sense that you are finally connecting emotionally with people. That's been a really strong delay for Virgo. And now you can start to have that connection more seamlessly here and now. Um, you really are thriving this month. I'm going to go ahead and get into the week to week to um, give you another bit of roadmap energy coming in. Um, in the first week, Virgos, you guys have Eight of Cups rooted down by Four of Wands. So this to me feels like you finally get away from it. You finally get away from the tragic aspects of your past. You finally get away from the narcissistic person that you've not been able to detach from. Um, there's a very strong celebration that you can have through seeing how you've walked away in the right way um, this this week in June, Virgos. Um, you are becoming so much more watery. That's interesting. So uh, especially for those of you with that Pisces Scorpio Cancer energy natally. Um, you, you'll know what to do here. I feel like the Virgos who don't have that much water, though, it can be a bit shocking to see yourself um, act so much like a water sign or become so much more in tune with um, fluctuating circumstances in life. So think about the hormones, think about the chemicals in your body and your health. How can you balance those things out? How can you um, listen to the dialogue that your body is having with you in order to... Um, Find a level of balance that has pervaded you for a long time. 
Uh, for some of you are getting engaged or some of you are taking relationships to the next level as well, it is supported to do that this month. Um, something needs to feel different. So if you've been in situationships or relationships that don't really have much definition, something needs to either like evolve or devolve. It's hard for things to stay um, completely constant with this type of energy I feel for you, Virgo. So um, as you're moving into that second week with the Wheel of Fortune rooted down by Queen of Cups, um, you really can take luck into your own hands. So try to maybe not be overly passive. Um, I feel like when Wheel of Fortune connects with Queen of Cups, it's like there's this extremely intuitive nature and this knowledge that the universe is just going to take you where it will and it'll be the right place and people will make the right decisions for you and things will kind of just fall into place. Um, that's good and that trust is important, but you've got to balance it a little bit with that like King of Swords and Magician energy where you're um, having that faith and that conviction that the universe will put you where you need to be. But at the same time, you know, gaining control over your own reality in a way where you can also do that if something falls through. So definitely think about things falling through this month when things are so wonderful. And, and of course, I know that not for all Virgos are things going to be like perfect and wonderful. Um, do check your sun, moon, rising sign if you're like having a really hard time because I feel like Virgo energy itself is quite good this month. Um, one way or another in the second week, it's important for you to uh, think about luck and to think about, you know, how you fly through life and how you're not trying to, to um, put too much effort into it or push yourself too hard. It's good to kind of reanalyze these things and re um, remap what that means to you. It's kind of vague. I know it's kind of um, a strange type of concept that my like non-mercurial mindset is like struggling to wrap around, but something to do with the way that you are uh, manifesting luck and relying on luck or relying on non-tangible structures needs to be pushed to that side a bit more, but at the same time, not completely compensated. Because I know in the beginning of the reading, I was talking about like, you can't overstructure, you can't overformulate. There just has to be some more balance put into these types of aspects of life, I feel for Virgo. Um, third week, you guys have King of Cups rooted down by the Magician reversed. So um, there's that intuition connected to like what you're manifesting in life, um, which is not feeling very intuitive to you. So a lot of Virgos are kind of in that place, I feel, where the career is like, well, this is what I wanted for a long time. This is where I wanted to be, but it's not what I thought it would be. Um, and I feel like I can't get out now. Um, you can, Virgo. You can definitely make changes here, and this is a very supported time to do it. Even if you're not, like, quitting your job now, or even if you're not, like, moving to the new state now, it's um, an incredible month to map that out or um, start to think about how you can actually make that happen because Virgo flirts with that a lot. You know, you think, okay, well, if I did this, I would do this, and it becomes this big, like, formulaic um, experience for you. Um, you can start to map it out in a more tangible way now. So, you know, making the calls, uh, getting the quotes, understanding what it actually entails versus dreaming about it um, is important. Also, some of you might be struggling with secrets and lies. The Magician Reverse can always kind of um, indicate that someone around you might not be being completely honest or that you are not being completely honest about something. Just dishonesty is kind of in your aura right now. So try to not rely too much on other people's truths to make your reality. Um, that can be an issue for Virgo, you know, when other people's purpose, other people's truth becomes your lifeline, you know? I feel like the most important thing about the energy for this month in Virgo is for your truth to become your lifeline versus other people's truths, other people's purposes becoming your supporting role or becoming your um, main role of life. Um, it, it's okay to support people. It's not so much a matter of disconnecting and rejecting um, the support of other people because it, it's good to help. It's good to um, be that person for other people sometimes, but not at the cost of your own you know, independence or at the cost of your own goals or purpose. Because Virgo is a very strong purpose sign, and that's something that kind of gets lost in your um, interpretations sometimes because you are um, Earth sign, obviously very passive feminine energy and mutable. So you can kind of, you know, adapt to any situation. Um, but with that energy also comes an incredible amount of, like, forward, progressive, um, motion-oriented energy and if Virgo gets too caught into supporting roles, you can start to self-destruct a little bit. So you need it a little bit because that's the archetype of your sign is support. But at the same time, you have to have something else that you're striving for 
in some aspect of your life. So definitely try to determine what that is for you in the third week and start to really map out a tangible course of action to how you can make your goals more directly centered into your life. So fourth week Virgo's nine of pentacles rooted down by judgment. I love that energy for you. Nine of pentacles is such a Virgo type of energy. A huge transformation comes during that week or starts to generate itself and it truly makes you feel like you're thriving. It gives you a glimpse of what the future may hold. I feel like a lot of Virgos haven't quite gotten there yet or haven't quite, you know, um, come to the end of the path that was really successful, but you're starting it here and you're realizing that it's possible. Um, and you are, for some of you, making more money, getting the promotion, you know, having to move uh, internationally to go to the next level of your job. I sense that for a lot of Virgos. Um, I also sense taking a more broad and international perspective in general um, and really gaining mobility in the hierarchy that you've found yourself in. So Virgo is really rising fast and ascending in career hierarchy, but also it can be very spiritual with judgment for sure. Um, some of you may be going to funerals. I don't feel like it's necessarily someone that you know well, but you're learning through what other people have lost, how much you have to really, um, you know, step into the driver's seat of your own time. Um, I definitely sense that strongly for Virgo. You've seen someone in your life or someone close to you has lost something very profound. Um, and you see how close you might have been to losing in a similar way, even if it's not the same. So that's a strong wake up call. I do feel June has a strong wake up call at the end of the month where you are seeing how blessed you are, how lucky you are, despite some of these difficulties and really starting to construct a reality where you're not um, sacrificing so much time and energy into something that makes you remembered in ways that you don't really want to be. So that's kind of complicated, Virgos. The English is weird there. Um, but you're dealing with your own memories. You're dealing with how other people remember you and generating a lot of that right now. And you're doing a beautiful job of that. Most people struggle a little bit more. Don't be afraid to step into that King of Swords role as your central theme. Um, for some of you, that might mean meeting a King of Swords type of person um, platonically or romantically and uh, really benefiting through their guidance or counsel on how to move forward. And for others of you, it just means honing in on your own King of Swords internal energy and really stepping into that you know, forward motion, that formulaic like push, like I don't have to be stuck in my head to be smart or to know what to do. I can know what that is and also manifest it. Um, and that really feels like the meat and potatoes of your reading this month, Virgos, is um, having that formulaic impact and being able to manifest it, like not having to choose to either recklessly manifest or like intelligently formul formulate in your head. It's like the actual combination and integration of those two ideals, which are um, incredible Virgo archetypes. So I'm wishing you guys much lo uh, love and luck during this process of culmination and um, reality generation in your energy. Um, you are celebrating, you are becoming very lucky. Um, try to not worry about other people's truths more than your own and you will do beautifully this month. Uh, much love. If you guys would like to subscribe, like, or comment on this video, it makes my day. I am also on Patreon and Instagram that's in the description box below. And I will be seeing you guys soon with more installments in the transit series. We'll be talking soon. Bye.